a lot of times we can get blinded by our own ambition. We can go so hard for so many amount of years until we finally accomplish this goal that we set for ourselves. And we can give 110% to accomplishing whatever we set before us. But when it comes down to the Heavenly Father, we stay stuck on entry level. The beginning stages. So when it comes down to our own selfish ambition, we can give 110%. But when it comes down to the Heavenly Father, we stay on entry level. We give him the bare minimum. And we expect the Heavenly Father to open up doors that can't no man close. We expect the Father to show up every single time we need him. See, that's a one-sided relationship. We got to give God the same commitment we would if it was something that we was trying to accomplish ourselves. Because the Heavenly Father is faithful. He showed up even when we turned our back on him. He showed up when everybody left. He showed up when you was in practice, when you was working hard to achieve this goal so you could build that house or maybe get that car. It was the Heavenly Father who showed up because he the one who supplied breath in your lungs. He kept you in your right state of mind. He taught you things that can't no man teach. And that's perseverance. To push through even when it's hard, even when you get tired. So don't give the Heavenly Father the bare minimum. It's time for us to give the Heavenly Father 110% and even more if it's in you. And it's going to be times where you feel weak. But the words say he will become our strength. It's our own weaknesses that perfect his strength. But the only way we have access to that is through Lord Jesus. So when you think about the things that you're trying to achieve in life and you think about how hard you're working towards achieving that goal, think about giving the Heavenly Father that same commitment. Because it's a lot of stuff in this world that we go hard for. But what about the Heavenly Father? What about pleasing Him? What about showing your appreciation to the Heavenly Father when He delivered you out of that stronghold of the enemy? What about all the stuff that the Heavenly Father helped you overcome? See, God got feelings too. The Heavenly Father has emotions too. And we got to stop breaking his heart when it come down to the stuff of this world. People put more trust in their possessions than they do the relationship of Lord Jesus. Don't have that Judas mindset. See, Judas traded his blessings for a couple of pieces of silver. Don't trade your blessings for something that's going to go away one day. This stuff of this world don't even matter. What really matters is the relationship you have with Lord Jesus. He's the way to everlasting life. But everything in this world will perish. Every single thing. But if you stay connected to the Heavenly Father by accepting Lord Jesus Christ in your heart to be your Lord and personal Savior. That won't perish because the word say everything will perish but the word of God. Lord Jesus is the word of God. So we got to stay connected to him, y'all, because he's the only way out. It don't matter how successful you become in this world. Lord Jesus is the only way out. The only thing success can do in this world is make life a little bit easier. But guess what? The devil can use that type of stuff if you put too much trust in what you have. But if you understand that all good things come from above, when the Heavenly Father is supplying your every need, that's how you can 
get through those strongholds. That's how you can break those connections that keep you bound to the things of this world. Because whatever the enemy take, the heavenly father can replenish. But whatever the heavenly father take, can't no man, nobody on this earth give back. So put your trust in the Heavenly Father. Give the Heavenly Father the same commitment you would if it was something you was trying to achieve on your own. Because when you do that, guess what? The Heavenly Father will help you achieve it. When it's according to his will. When you glorify his name with the stuff you have. But it got to be genuine. It got to come from a true place in your heart towards him. Don't let the enemy deceive you with this stuff of this world. It's a trap. See, the enemy wants you to chase, 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 chase until there's nothing left for you to get. He wants you to become so tired that you don't even want to get out of bed. Or he wants you to be so occupied with your own ambitions. That you forget about all the other stuff the Heavenly Father has done for you. Look how many times the Heavenly Father showed up on your behalf. If we learn how to be grateful with what we have. That's how the Heavenly Father can bless you with more. If you learn how to appreciate all that you have. But if you don't appreciate it. Guess what's going to happen? You're going to be miserable. Because you're always going to want more. Don't fall into that trap. Give your all to the Heavenly Father. And watch what happens. Because he's definitely going to show up in your life. Just like all those other times. You don't have to chase after nothing. Because the Heavenly Father, he's already made a way for you. And it's through Lord Jesus. I pray this bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.